now. All right, here I go. I'm a walking dead man. Time to make it official. Tell my mistress her little birdie loves her. Which one? You're next, Benny. Didn't notice. <laughs> You're not even worried in the slightest, are you? When a film isn't ready on time, it's the producer Gerstein hangs by the balls in Town Square. Not the director, the producer. And what do you think happens to the producer who derails the police chief's big vanity project? Why should I care if the studio is in bed with the cops? I did everything by the book. It was the worst plot I've seen in 20 years. A law enforcement hero fighting Satan. And he ends up marrying his daughter. In the Wild West, of course. But by some miracle, I somehow signed Fink to write the script. That guy has three Pollocks for a reason. He can turn Turn any nonsense into Shakespeare. <laughs> Who cares about some chicken scratch on some stupid paper? The police chief just wanted another James Hardwick movie. He probably jerks off to his poster every Sunday before church. You think it was easy signing Hardwick? I had to offer him a juicy contract for three films, a driver, a maid, even a fucking European sports car. And he still said no. Uh, but, but then how? Monkey brains. I'm sorry, what? Monkey brains. My guys followed him for two weeks trying to find something. It was looking like we just have to ambush the guy under a bridge and give him a beating, talk some sense into him. But then suddenly, in the middle of the night, he goes to some underground club and asks the owner for a dish of monkey brains. He read in a magazine that if you I don't eat... want to hear it! Not another word! You signed that pervert for three films and went off to celebrate? I mean, well, I'm stuck with him for 95 days, 14 hours a day. He thinks he's a damned Arab sheik. Had a bustle of girls drive right up to the set for him every morning. Once, just once, I called him a donkey's ass. And that slime ball got so offended that he locked himself in his trailer and refused to film anything until I knelt in front of him on my knees. On my knees. And my joints are bad. I, I can barely tie my shoes. We did our part. We even stayed under budget. Let Gerstein blow his stack at the guy who torched four reels of finished material. Exactly. Well, just say it was Stuart who left the kerosene lamp in. I'm telling you for the fifth time, you little cocksucker. I don't give a rat's ass who left the fucking lamp on in the fucking editing room. So shut your sweetheart. We're finished. Gerstein is going to gouge out our eyes with his letter opener and save them as treats for the police dogs. Relax. Gerstein can solve any problem. He's made deals with the Mafia, even did a job for Hitler. So I'm pretty sure he can handle some lousy... 